Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the differences between kilowatt and kilowatt hour, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So people new to the electric car community may not know the differences, and actually generally kilowatt and kilowatt hour are kind of used interchangeably, even though they technically aren't the same thing and they are actually different. So while they are related, there are subtle differences between the two. Kilowatt is a measure of power, so you can think of this as the horsepower in your ICE car or the total amount of power your electric motor has. It's a rate of speed on how fast you can get energy into your batteries. Kilowatt hour is a measure of energy, so you can think of this as like gallons of gasoline in your car, your car's gas tank, and so the kilowatt hour is the total amount of energy the batteries can hold. So one important thing you've probably heard, especially with Teslas and the supercharger stations, is oh, I'm at a 150 kilowatt you know, station, or, or oh, I'm at a 250 kilowatt station. So that's referring to the power of the station, so obviously the higher the number, the faster you'll be able to charge for the most part. I say for the most part because there are a number of factors that factor into how fast you actually charge. So it depends on how busy the station is, where you are in your charge. So basically if you have 25% or 50%, that's going to actually impact how fast you charge. But if we were in a perfect scenario and there was nobody at the station and say you were at like 5% charge, then yes, a 250 kilowatt power station compared to a 150 kilowatt station, the 250 is going to charge you faster. Now you can't have a 250 kilowatt battery pack. That just wouldn't make sense because kilowatt is a power measurement. You could have a 250 kilowatt hour battery, but that would be a huge battery and we basically aren't there yet for commuter cars. And so just for some reference, if we were to put a 250 kilowatt hour battery in a Model 3 right now, based on averages, that would be about a thousand miles of charge that you would get for a 250 kilowatt hour battery in your Model 3. So let's go over a couple examples. So the first example is, let's say you're at a 250 kilowatt station and you charge for one hour. That would mean that over that one hour, you would get 250 kilowatt hours of energy store put into your batteries if your battery pack could hold that much energy. So another example that might be a little more simple is let's say we have a three kilowatt household appliance, in this case, a dryer. So let's say you did laundry and you did your dryer for 30 minutes at, a th at three kilowatts of power. That would mean you'd use one and a half kilowatt hours of energy within that half an hour. So one other thing I want to point out that I thought was kind of cool is if you'll notice in the Model S and X, they actually have the energy storage mounts, their battery pack sizes, in their actual model numbers. So at one point I got a loaner Model S and it was a 75D. So the 75 refers to 75 kilowatt hours. That's how big the battery pack is. And then the D is going to be for dual, which basically means it was dual motor. Uh, Model S. Uh, the, right now, the highest top of the line S and X is the 100D or P100, P100D, which is basically the same thing, 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, and then the D for dual. So while power and energy are related terms, they aren't exactly the same thing and they are used in different ways. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.